Hey guys, Searching Devil here. How's it going? Oh, <clears throat> got the second channel up. Go check it out, the Williams family. Uh, you'll see me, Mrs. Gizmo, and Peanut. Now, I do got a hawker in. Uh, I got some uh, grizzly in. I'm trying to get that can done no wood. But, today, as you can see, my little pin here, a little free blowing thing. It is October. October is National Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Awareness. Uh, now, I'm a firm believer in standing up for this, especially having friends, having family members, stuff like that, uh, die from it, have it, dying from it. So it's, it's nothing to really joke about. So all of you out there, show your support any way you can. You know, it's a really important cause. Uh, this has everything is, but, you know. Now, uh, we're talking about, what we're going to talk about today is uh, we're going to make a video on uh, uh, the presidential. Now, when it comes to the presidential stuff, we have two options. We have Donald Trump. We have Hillary Clinton. So, one is a billionaire, and he, you know, has all these weird, all these great plans that sound good on paper. I mean, they really do. But the thing is, you guys see that they're going to come to light or not. Now the whole wall thing. I mean, seriously. It's, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> it's, it's just one of those things like, you know, <coughs> I'm all for illegals not being in the United States. Reason why is because when you get them in the States, they get all these benefits. Hey, Mrs. Hey, Peanut, I want, come here, Peanut. Where the fuck do you find it? I've been looking for this shit for ever, and where'd you find it? Where'd you find it? Behind the freezer. It filled behind the freezer. Say what's up, Dad. Now, y'all gonna see Peanut on my channel. She's fussy, but let's tell you. See mine. Come here. There she is. Yeah, my baby girl. Hi. You see the baby? Huh? You see the baby? <laughs> Oh, bless her. Blue. <laughs> you see the baby? Huh? <laughs> uh, there's Mrs. by the way. Hello. I see your cheek and your Well, I can't. You're short and I've just been that little bit. Sorry. <laughs> you see the baby? Huh? I <laughs> She's like, I don't always think about this. <laughs> I'm a joker. Oh. So we're being fussy and we're not happy and we're sleepy, but. Yeah. Well, like I was saying, the best presidential thing. Uh, not very good off. Not very good at all. Now, everyone's bitching about. They want Bernie Sanders this, Bernie Sanders that. Well, the thing is, when you go to vote, it's called to write in. Write in votes count just as much as the two the two uh, ballots of Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. Me personally, I'm writing in for Bernie Sanders. I'm not voting for Donald Trump. I'm not voting for Hillary Clinton. I'm writing in Bernie Sanders when I go to vote because it is. He came here to Huntington Blood. Any of this year? It was sooner than that. It was right before I had her. It was right before I had her. It was like in July. Beginning of July. Yeah. Okay. okay, he came here. This dude. Okay. The Big Sandy Superstore Arena. Can hold. Right around. I don't know. About 8,000 people. You know, in the seats. This motherfucker had 
7,500 people in the arena. And then a ton more people outside. Of course, there was your protesters and shit like that, like there normally is with everything. Well, you know, I mean, Bernie Sanders cares more about the people than Hillary or Donald ever does. Now, this whole thing, make a great America, America great again. I mean, I watched the videos, Bill Clinton said it. It's fine. Donald Trump says it, uh, just because we have a black president now, it's automatically racist. And, you know, me and my buddy, uh, CM, our, we talk about this shit all the time, and between phone calls and stuff like that. And, you know, it, it, it's one of those things like, when you watch the debate, I give it to Hillary Clinton. She she owned it. Now they're talking about her health and blah 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 blah. Well, you know, I think this is one of the presidential races that has two, probably two of the oldest candidates running at the same time. And then you have Murray Sanders, who's older than both of them. <coughs> Think about it. if Donald Trump wins, he's like 70, I think now. Donald Trump wins, he's gonna be 78 if he gets two terms. Donald Trump was losing his stamina during our presidential debate, and Hillary Clinton was running his ass into the ground. Now, the funny thing about that is. Everyone was talking about, oh, she had an electronic device feeding her information. So fucking what? George W. Bush had it. Bill Clinton had it. You know. Now, also, some people wear those things. Yeah, they get information, but some people wear them to drown out noise. You ever been to a concert? A lot of musicians wear it because it drowns out noise. So they're not sitting there screaming or hollering or anything like that. It keeps her voice at a monotone level. Now, what I find funny about everyone's thing is that all these violent protests outside of Trump rally, and the Hillary and shit like that, it's violent protests. Now, when Barack Obama first won, I was like, cool. Now, we, we finally got a black president. Okay, I was house proud of him. He won it. And when you go on vacation more than you actually take care of your shit, I mean, the whole thing, like, Donald Trump's whole thing, what people are, a lot of people are for, a lot of people are against, is the whole ISIS thing. He wants to bomb the fuck out of them, blow their asses up, and says, fuck. Okay. Me too. I'm, you know. But look, look at the sources, the media. The media fucks so many stories up. It's not even. I mean, you know, I'm all for the news. I love watching news channels, okay? I love it. I love watching my other channel and shit like that. But the thing is, though, that they can twist shit and make it seem like that, you know, one thing could be said and it'd be completely took out of context for something else. Like Donald Trump, like there's so many things Donald that are going through this history. Donald Trump's never been considered racist until now. Misogynistic, yeah. Bigot against women, obviously. But look at Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton cheated on his wife in the White House. Fuck his wife. Fuck someone else in the White House. But people praise him. 
Now, the difference between it is, is Donald Trump is not scared to say what's on his mind. He will say what the fuck he wants to say. You know, and when I look at either side, am I voting for Donald Trump? No. Am I voting for Hillary Clinton? No, I'm writing in for Bernie Sanders. Okay, I might, I might write in uh, a SpongeBob SquarePants. Who fuck knows? But you look, you, you got a guy coming into the White House. More than likely, Donald Trump might win. If Donald Trump wins, he's got three marriages. He, <laughs> my buddy, puts exported a wife, male or bride. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Now. And, you know, Hillary Clinton, yeah, she's been with Bill for a long time, like 40 years, I guess it is. And, you know, you see all these weird videos of Hillary, like, to get collapsing and passing out from heat, exhaustion, while she had pneumonia. What's that, that? That can't happen. Especially if you got a high temperature. That can happen. Then you had there's this one video surface. It's so it was so fucking weird that she was sitting there all of a sudden she's dude comes up, sticks her with the pin, and tells her to be okay, just keep talking, blah 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 blah. Because the whole big scandal is is the tax returns for Donald Trump, and of course the emails for Hillary Clinton. I mean, I look at this like if we get Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton in office. Or fuck either way. Do I think Bernie Sanders should be president? Yeah. Is that a Donald Trump? Nope. Do I think it would be? No. It's not because she has a vagina and tits and all that. It's because she's going to follow the same agenda as Barack Obama. And everything Barack Obama done, she's going to keep it up. So. that. Now, uh, that's my thing on the president. It's like, I mean, it's not like this humongous fucking fact or something I'm going to repeat myself like 12 times, but you know, okay. Um, <clears throat> but you know, I'm going to be doing, um, I'm going to be doing more videos like this, more videos about, you know, uh, news. Shit like that. I'm gonna be watching Secure Team 10 a lot and just going off their videos because they have some amazing videos. So if you, any of my subscribers, all 21 of you, <laughs> go check Secure Team 10 out. They're amazing. If you're into aliens and shit like that and skips conspiracy theories, it's amazing. So that said, this is kind of long, so I'm gonna go ahead and end it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end it. I want to thank you guys for your time. Love you guys. Thank you for the support. Thank you for all the follows. Like it, subscribe, share, favorite, all that fun shit. That said, I'm third gen devil. Got to see Peanut and Mrs. on my channel. <laughs> but thank you guys. I love you guys. Always remember, the third gen devil from home.